Welcome back. You're trying to eat light and healthy, so you order up a selection of sushi. Now, you know it's expensive. What you didn't know is that the fish you order could be very different from the fish that actually ends up on your plate. Kate Stokel says she knows, and it's a little fishy. She and a fellow high school classmate DNA tested sushi in restaurants around New York, and you will not believe what they found. Kate and her dad, molecular biologist Mark Stokel, are talking exclusively to the early show this morning about their findings. Kate, doctor, good to see the both of you. This is widespread, huh? Yes. yes, absolutely. Your studies, uh, I just said uh, the numbers we just talked about a second ago, we're looking at what, eight of 14 samples that you tested? People are being duped, Sushi. What? Most of the, uh, half of the restaurants, two of four restaurants, and six of 10 grocery stores sold one or more items that were mislabeled. Ah, okay, well, let me start with you. What yeah. made you decide yeah. to embark on something like this, DNA I, testing sushi? Yeah, I've always loved sushi. Um, and I've grown up hearing about barcoding from my dad, DNA barcoding. Yep. So I just thought it'd be a really fun project to try. So what did you do? You just went to different restaurants yeah, around we Manhattan, went out took to them and sampled them? Yeah. Um, and then we cut off little snippets of the samples, stored them in alcohol vials, and then we sent them to a lab in Canada to be sequenced. All right, Mark, let me ask you, you specialize in DNA and barcoding and things like that. Um, were you amazed and, and did you think that, well, this is kind of bizarre, but we'll give it a shot anyway, but then your findings, you must have said, good heavens, we're on to something here. Uh, we were very surprised. Uh, 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 no one had done uh, testing of uh, fish products from the marketplace before, uh, uh, so Kate uh, had the idea. I said, go ahead. Uh, and uh, we were very surprised uh, uh, with these results. All right, okay, take me through this here. We've got some white tuna yeah. here, some red snapper. Exactly what would you do? And then Yeah, so, you know, we just, we go to the restaurant, take it home, and then we sterilize all of our tools. We just had some tweezers and a knife. We cut off a tiny little piece, and then we put it in the alcohol vials, and we sent them off. And so, so. what were some of the things, the results that you got back? What were your findings? What yeah, were you finding I think out? one of the most striking results was we had something labeled as white tuna, and yeah. it was actually Mozambique tilapia. Okay, so is that a cheaper fish? Oh, I mean, much, what's happening? Are they yeah, basically, you know, much cheaper. you're getting and charged for one thing, yeah, you're getting... Yeah, and that's one of the main things, you know, people should be getting what they pay for, so... As far as, like, yeah. the white tuna, you, you know, another sample is the same thing? Type of, you think you're getting white tuna, but you're really right. Well, we had, uh, and then with red snapper, we had nine samples of red snapper. Seven of them were some other fish. Uh, one was Nile perch, which is a freshwater fish from Africa. So why do you think these restaurants are doing this? Is it just a yeah. big scam to make more I money to scam so. people I out? I think what? we're not even sure the restaurants themselves are aware that they're selling mislabeled fish. Yep. We're not sure where the mislabeling occurs, and it's probably not with the fishermen either. Now, have you thought of going back to these restaurants where you did the testing to tell them, look, you know what you say, you're, you're serving red snapper. It's not red snapper. Uh, we haven't uh, uh, done that. Uh, we're hope, uh, I think Kate hopes to encourage other students to yeah. do this. It's uh, the DNA barcoding method is a very simple standardized method that uh, makes this uh, what's really advanced technology accessible to high school students. So now you've tried this, you've got these results, you've stumbled onto something here, obviously. Right. What's the next step? Now what? Um, I think, you know, we're going to continue eating sushi and um, we just want to inspire other people to do something similar. Yeah. Now you're headed off to Johns Hopkins yes. as a freshman. You're leaving tonight. Yes, mm -hmm. I Congratulations, am. Congratulations, yeah, first of all. You. What a wonderful institution. Did something like this help you get in, do you think? Uh, I mean, did they say, well, you know. We're I don't know. You'll have to ask them. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, you come from, a, yeah, obviously, uh, uh, some good lineage here with the, the doctor who's your father. Thank you uh, to both of you for coming in. We, we do appreciate Thanks it. This is a fascinating study and now people will really take a look at their sushi. Uh, uh, maybe give it a second glance when they do order it. Okay. Yeah. And that's what you were here for to begin with. Guys, thank you. Good to thank see you. you.